Oh, hey, I almost didn't see you there. Listen, that felt very Mr. Rogers, didn't it? I love it. Maybe I'll take my shoes off and change them or something. So this might look familiar to a lot of you guys out there. I know that things are, are moving more and more toward an information economy, and a lot of us are working from home or working desk jobs, much needed jobs, but also very, very much, you know, causing repetitive stress on your body. If we look at this, what do you see when you look at me from the side here, right? You see my upper body bent forward, my shoulders are forward, my head is forward, putting incredible stress on my shoulders and, and neck. My, my hips are bent, allowing my, allowing my hip flexor muscles, my psoas muscles to, to shorten and, and ultimately go into mild states of contracture, right? Uh, and also I'm just kind of compressed down, right? So one of the tenets that I've come up with in my own head, this may or it may not be right, but you know, like Dumbledore says in the first Harry Potter movie, it's a, it's a pretty good idea if I say so myself and that's saying something, right? Um, is undo what you do all the time every day, right? So if I'm doing this, then I have to do this. If I'm doing this, then we have to do this, right? If we're down, we need to be up. So three essential stretches that I think every desk worker, every work from home person should be doing every day are, are, are gonna be these three things, okay? The first is gonna be something called Brugger's. I believe I've modified it. That would be spelled B-R-U-G-G-E-R apostrophe S. You could look it up and you'll probably find a physical therapist with fantastic credentials doing it differently from the way I do it. But I've, I've modified it to make sure that it's hitting the areas that need to be hit, okay? This stretch is, involves standing or, or sitting with your arms at 45 degrees down, palms forward. That's important because that external rotation undoes the internal rotation that's involved with the shoulders coming forward. So palms forward, down at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm gonna turn this way to you so you can see this better. Shoulders shrugged back and down. And now here's where, here's where the technique comes in. You're going to push your head back as far as it can go and then roll it back as far as it can go so that your, neck, your whole neck is extended. Now you're gonna squeeze those shoulders back and together and really pull your head back and take a big deep breath. And then all the way up, a nice big sigh of relief, right? You can do, you do one of those periodically throughout the day. You can do them for, you know, two or three minutes and, you know, and do a few repetitions. That's going to dynamically activate these muscles in your neck and your upper, upper back that are statically contracted, holding your poor sad hump head up all day while you're crunching over numbers, you know, or, or doing whatever it is you do to contribute to the world, right? Um, so that is you know, my version of Brugger's to help undo that forwardness that's giving everybody neck and upper back and across the shoulder problems. Uh, the, the second thing is, is going to be to, you know, to stretch the hip flexor. It's very, very important that you do this correctly. I'm sure you've seen, again, and that's to undo this. Okay, that's to undo this, right? So that's the number number two terrible thing about being a desk, desk worker and sitting and modern life in general. So to stretch the hip flexor, let's say I'm doing my left one. You want to have your left leg back and your right leg forward. Now, so many of us don't really run or do anything terribly athletic all the time. So a lot of us, when you, when you say stand with one leg in front of the other, I see something like this. And then when you go to bend your knee to stretch forward, see how far forward my knee is going over my, over my foot? I know that there's a knees over toes guy online right now who's getting really popular. I say to heck with him. I don't know anything about that. I know that when you're trying to stretch your hip flexor, you want a good long athletic stance, assuming that it's safe for you and your balance status. If it's not, you want to have something, I don't have anything, something nearby to hold on to. Your safety is number one, okay? But you need to be, and of course I'm pretty flexible, a good long stance with your, the side you're stretching behind you. You want to have your knee not bent because that takes away all the stretch, locked. You want it straight, okay? You want a nice bend in this front knee, not going over the front toe. You want, it, you want to have your hips tucked under. 
and maintain contraction in your abs. Because if you stretch forward like this and you're just going like that, again, your hip flexor attaches actually inside your abdomen up against the spine. And so if you let yourself go like this, you're taking all the stretch away. I don't feel any stretch in my hip flexor right now, despite how long my stance is. But when I tuck my hips and raise my body up and sit down into it, <sighs> I could feel that pretty good, okay? Um, I've been doing a lot of sitting today, so I really needed to be doing this right now. So that is, that is crucial to keep that back knee locked, good long stance, balance safe and maintained, and sit forward into it until you feel a really nice stretch. It almost is gonna feel like groin because of the way that, that hip flexor muscle runs. Okay, and then what we're dealing with here is mainly psoas, not so much the rectus femoris, which is another ball game, right? We're focusing on this one because it gets so tight with people. You know, hold that for a good, a good 30 seconds or so. And again, you're not limited in how much you can do this, because if you go to do this and you're only here, then you probably need to be doing it multiple times a day, okay? That's gonna help, you know, again, you know, with your, with your uprightness when you're standing, with the health of your spine, okay? The last thing is, you know, is, you know, beside being forward and being bent, that, you know, that's really problematic for deck work, that's work is just being down. You know, what, what, when, you, when, you, when you hear down, what do you think? You think down, mood, depressed, sad, right? So you've got to get up physically, and that will help you get up mentally, neurologically, emotionally. One of the best ways I know to do that is with something that I'm, I'm grabbing from yoga and Please, you know, if, I don't, if I'm not doing it perfect for all you yogis out there, I apologize. Uh, but tree pose, okay? You can you can do it with just your, your foot kind of you know holding your you know holding your balance like this. You can have it up against your calf, or I don't know if my jeans are going to let me do this, but you can have it sure tucked up against the inside of your leg like this, okay? Nice tall spine, almost as if there's a string pulling your head up toward the ceiling, and reach for the sky with your arms as if you're trying to get as long as you can, like you're trying to reach the stars, and try not to fall over like I'm doing right now, right? Get big and tall, oh, and there it goes, right? So you know, way up, and then do the other side too. That's gonna work balance, and put the input of up in at the same time. When you work more than one function together, in the neurology world, what we say is nerves that fire together, wire together. So we want that, we want up, to, to wire together with balance because balance is such a is such a, a core functional uh, uh, function of the of the human physiology. Okay, so just as a recap, you know, if, we, if you're a desk worker and you're like this, you want to undo this, you want to undo this, and you want to undo this, and those are the three ways to do it. That will help you undo the stresses of being a desk worker that come at you day to day. That could ultimately undermine your health over time. If you need any more help, obviously we're right here in South Berwick, Maine. Be happy to hear from you. But hopefully with this information, maybe I never do, and that'll be fine. I'd love to put myself out of a job because that means that everybody's healthy and feeling great. And that's our number one goal here, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this helps.